Hello, welcome back to Brian Sushi Lang Huding. In this episode, I'll be showing you how I created this creature um, using simply just grease pencil and a bit of notes. Um, so I started by just drawing uh, the grease pencil. So it's actually like this. It's actually word OK. Uh, and then what's going on here is a uh, grease pencil is scattering and instancing um, the leaves. However, before I do the instancing, what's happening here is a grease pencil is being converted into UV edges. So it's multiple edges and strokes, but Sverto can handle that and then turning it into alpha object. And then with alpha objects, I simply align the rotations, randomize attribute. Actually, before I do this, there's another process that I separated. So point to volume, volume to mesh is being separated by me because um, I want to get the normal. This process allows you to create the normal to process, okay? And then you align uh, the point instance and then randomize slightly and then point scale instance and extra transform at the end. And the grease pencil itself, you can already guess, is very basic leaves. It's actually uh, kind of interesting. The, the, the whole process is more interesting than the final result. So let me start. So first of all, you want to draw a grease pencil. Okay, so this is your artwork. So you're gonna shift A, grease pencil, blank. And you wanna draw something. So just to be really simple. See, in the new, in the latest version of Blender, I, I don't quite like that. I think they better make this automatic. You just draw stroke. This is your character. This is a word letter OK. OK. Maybe give a smiley. All right. Cool. This is your art. But we're gonna have leaves later on, etc. But it's gonna come soon. First of all, <clears throat> I'm using stretch of notes because it it can do the GP macro. So it's converting grease pencil into stroke that geometry nodes will understand. We have multiple strokes, however, I want to join them using merge. So it's become a single object called alpha. Save this. GP volume instance. It's basically what it is, the whole process. So this is grease pencil to edge, polygon edge. So let's switch to geometry nodes, switch to gear, and we're gonna bring in this alpha. We're gonna go to geometry nodes and then point volume volume to mesh. This of course consists only volume. And before we mesh it, we gonna check. Okay, this might take a while. However, uh, so be careful with the with the size or the radius. And volume to mesh. Of course, we have this already. Okay. Okay. So we can use this. This is the first process. Point, point image. And then I'll create another geometry node. You might be wondering why, why I'm doing that because I want to have um, instance with the normal. This process allow you to generate a mesh. This is one process. Second one will turn it into proper mesh with the normal, I think. 
Yeah, I think that's what's going on. And then so create shift A create another grease pencil and we want to draw the, the leaf. I want to show you something with a grease pencil. When you first draw in grease pencil, the strength is set to 0 0.6. I don't actually quite like this. It should be set to 1. Because we are drawing, you know, it's a, it's a grease pencil. We are drawing something. We don't want to have opacity. And then on top of that, material need to be set manually, right? but that, that's okay. Um, but make sure that you also create new layer, right? So that's really important. So I'm going to start drawing the leaves. It's fairly simple. What's cool about this pencil really is you can layer things. So if you draw another material, this time instead of strokes, you use fill. I'm gonna fill it with green, nice color of green. The way we fill in this pencil is simply by drawing like a lasso to around our object. You might see okay we are in different layer so that's wrong it should be on another layer and should be behind okay doesn't need to be perfect okay we can still edit this grease pencil edit and simplify with adaptive on oh it's actually did I edit it? I just keep it simple like that. It's quite nice artwork. <laughs> so just name it. I'm gonna move this into a new collections call it leaves so what's gonna happen here i'm just gonna do, make duplicates this is for the instance objects i want to have different color etc you can see here the material can be easily randomized okay material 2 i'm just gonna make it single user keep a different color Same thing, make a single user. Okay, three different color of leaves. Select all, option G, hide it. Now we go back to this guy. So geometry knows turning points into mesh, and then now we want to do something with it. Just instance the next. The only thing we need to do is instancing. If we just do point instance using collections, turn off whole collections, pass in the leaves, we're gonna have this. This one can be heavy, so be careful. Sometimes I think it's a good idea just to use like a dummy. So this is a dummy plane instance plane so when you're working like this you can use dummy instance object so this is a lot faster point scale we want to scale the instance we can scale it in any direction so you can use value Okay. And align rotation to vector. Because we are using mesh beforehand, we can now align align this into the with the normal. It's very weird. So now we can have this point scale back to collections. 
Ah, you can see the leaves. So we got our character is actually sleeping like that. So transform, rotate in X, put it on the ground. And we want to add more randomizations. So it's it's currently being aligned. It's almost like a feather. We randomize instead of by replacing or creating, we just add in. So this this will do the job, but we want to do, to do this as a vector maybe. And just not too much, just a little bit of randomizations. It looks pretty good. So this guy, in order to closely match the leaves, maybe you need to make it smaller. So that's the whole process basically to create this. So this pencil works with collections and also with geometry nodes I think it's really neat and the whole process is uh, super simple I think currently it's uh, it looks too dark maybe I need to change the stroke the leaf stroke material instead of using just a uh, black color Changes to different color. So this the stroke is really strong. It affects the this kind of weight around um, you can also still control the thickness if I'm not wrong. In the next video I will try to show you the uh, grease pencil also where um, you have animated grease pencil each one with different timeline and then as a collections and you can use that together with uh, grease pencil oh I mean with the uh, geometry nodes to create like a, some kind of simple crowd system all right so yeah, this is the whole process. Hopefully you find this interesting. Let me know what you think. Um, oh, before I finish, because our art is also a grease pencil, don't forget, you can always go back to the top view and then go back to draw mode and then write, oh, Then uh, this is slow probably because of the dispenser instancing. Well anyway, just write blend. It's gonna take a while. And we just make changes. Okay, interesting, right? All right, so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.